Metals are made of closely packed cations, not neutral atoms like in ionic or covalent bonds. The reason these cations aren't instantly repelled from each other is that their valence electrons are freely moving like a sea of electrons around the cations. Metallic bonds consist of the attraction of the free-floating valence electrons for the positively charged metal ions, which hold the metals together. These freely moving electrons give the metals some of their useful properties, like conducting current, because electrons can freely flow in them, or ductility, which means that they can be drawn into wires, or malleability, which means that they can be hammered and forced into shapes. Again, all of these properties are due to the freely moving valence electrons. Like ionic compounds, metal atoms are arranged in crystalline structures. They are very compact and orderly patterns. But unlike ionic compounds, the cations can easily slide past one another under force because of those freely floating valence electrons. Ionic compounds will shatter, but metals will flatten out. Most metals you use on a daily basis aren't actually a pure element. They're an alloy. Alloys are mixtures composed of two or more elements where at least one of those elements is a metal. Sterling silver, cast iron, and stainless steels are all common alloys. By mixing these elements together, you get better properties, better malleability or strength or resistance to rusting. Alloys are important because their properties are often superior to those of their component elements. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.